Excellent, we have the Goron Ruby in our pocket, so we only need to get one more gem, the blue one from the Zoras. Before we're going to do that, we're first going to go up Death Mountain, because as the Runia said, there's a great fairy to be found there, and she's going to give us a little power up. We can make our way to the top now, because as you can see, there are a couple of rocks here that block our way, but now we have some instant bombs, and they will blow up and clear the way for us. It is, of course, if you do things right, and you won't let the bomb blow up in your hands. These bombs that you grab from your inventory will blow up a lot faster than the bombs that you can actually find in the environment. So therefore, the timing of throwing it at the right time to the rock. No, not to the floor. What the, what the hell are you doing, man? Come on. So the timing is a little bit more difficult. But once you get it, you'll get a nice uh, couple of rupees, and the way is open. As I mentioned many times before, I should have gotten the shield before I went here. Because as you make your way up the mountain, rocks will fall down from the sky because it is an active volcano. And with the shield you could have uh, bend over, so to say, and the shield would cover you, you wouldn't get any damage. cow here under the ground, below the rock if you wanted to find it, but nope, we have a destination to go to. And those shadows that you see right now, that's that the rock is falling down. And you can roll to avoid them. Oh well, it's just a little bit of damage. We're going up the mountain as she comes. Yeehaw! Gotta be very careful here. If he turns blue, he will attack. Thankfully, that one ignores me. The other one also. Oh no. Ooh. Because if they hit you, they will knock you off the wall. Hello, Mr. Owl. You're not going to talk to me anymore. Fantastic, man. Secret wall, blow it up. Get some power. And this is a uh, great fairy's fountain. You can see the uh, royal symbol. So that means we'll have to play Zelda's lullaby in order to let them know, hey, we're of the royal family. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, hello, beautiful. <clears throat> Remember, this is a kid's game, huh? Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Excellent. Receive it now. You mastered the secret sword spin attack. Hold B to charge a weapon, release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging, you'll have to rotate your thingy and press B. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. And that's the main reason of going up here, because later on we're going to need this... Uh, Magic, oh sorry. Next time you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another new power. Oh, thanks for the tip. When battle has made you wary, please come back to see me. I'll be sure to do that. So now we have magic. So if you hold your sword and you hold B down, it will uh, charge up. And whoosh! You can do an AoE attack. And as I said, the magic will definitely need that later on. And she just told us that there's another great fairy at Hyrule Castle. And she gives us an item that's definitely going to help. But first we'll need to make our way down again. 
If you're going back down mountain, I can lend you a wing. And this is our instant teleportation. Back in Kakariko Village. Okay, Link. Where are we going to go now? We're going to check out the Golden Skulltula house. No? Okay. I guess we're going to Lake Hilia then. Or are we going to Hyrule Castle? Well, you might want to nobble, don't you know this thing? But no, I do not. I completely forgot where I went. Anywho, let's find out. Ah, we're going to go to Zora's Domain first. And as we make our way, I wanted to talk about my uh, favorite and least favorite Zelda game. Because apparently I've, I've read some comments and people have never played these Zelda games before. And this is mind-boggling to me, man. I had no clue that there were still people out there who had no idea of this brilliant series. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yes, Mr. All. Hoo-hoo. Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting his water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoot hoot. Thanks, buddy. That that was helpful. Golden Skulltula and a tree. And as you can see, these rocks are blocking your way. So if you uh, hadn't had done the uh, fire dungeon, dungeon number two, you wouldn't have any bombs with you. And you couldn't make your way past this. But now you can. Just pick up this chicken right here. And with a chicken in your hand, you can float over short distances. And we're going to need this for a little heart piece. But as I was saying, some people have never played these games before. And if you're going to ask me what's your favorite Zelda game, I would have to say this one. Uh, it's a very difficult choice because they're all excellent. And my least favorite would have to be the Wind Waker, probably. Not because of the, the graphics, not because of the dungeons, not because of the fighting system, because combat in that game was brilliant. No, it was the constant sailing that you had to do at some point. Excellent. Hard piece. Fantastic. Because at some point you had to find out where the uh, pieces of the Triforce were, you had to go to fishies, and you had to feed those fish, who would then place a marker on your map, and then you had to sail to those places, and then you had to find the Triforce, and then you had to go back to the guy who sells the fish food, to feed another fish to find another Triforce piece. It was just for the very first time in any Zelda game because I've never had that. Uh, I really had the feeling of, damn, do I need to do this again? Can't I just go out and find it? But yeah. still a very good Zelda game though. So there you go. And behind this waterfall is Zora's Domain. And like the owl just told us, we're going to have to prove that we're part of the family. Zelda's Lullaby. The key to open up many, many doors. And as the Al just said, the Zoras are the ones who are guarding the water source of Hyrule. They're the fish people. Excellent swimmers, divers, live on the water. And this is their domain. And their king is just a gigantic fish that's blocking your way to the third dungeon. 
So you're going to have to find out uh, how to get past him and by doing so we'll first have to go to this guy. Diving game. Want to play? And he tosses a couple of rupees in the water below. You pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. I'll give you something very nice. So it's a very simple mini game. He basically gives you your money back, which is excellent. And you need to pick up all those coins or those rupees. And if you do it within the time limit, he will give you something good, which is in this case a Zora scale, I believe, a blue one. And that one will allow you to dive a little bit deeper. And we're going to need that. And you can target yourself on top of the rupees by watching your shadow. And if you see that your shadow is over it, just press A. Easy does it. I've got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Come in. Group of fish. If you ever need to put a fish in a bottle, that's right here. Here, little fishy. Thank you. And we're not going to feed the king. That won't make him move, but we will be needing this one later on. Okay, buddy. I did your game. Give me my prize. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give what a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. Thank you. Ah, it's called the silver scale. Okay. And now that we can dive deeper, you can see right in front of us a little uh, gateway, which we can enter now. And this gateway will instantly take us to Lake Hylia. Look, yes Navi, I've seen it. Give me the bottle. Oh, I just missed it. Dang it. Here, bottle. You got an empty bottle. Put something inside and... What? Something's already inside. And what's inside is a letter from the Zora princess, the daughter of the king that's in your way right now. I'm trying to think of her name. I'm thinking Naruto, but that can't be right. I'll figure it out later on. Anyways, that letter will tell him that his princess, his daughter, is in danger. And he will move out of the way so that you can go to the next dungeon. So we have our key, we have our pathway in. But first I decided to do this little fishing minigame. This fishing game is very simple. And it was excellent on the uh, N64 because you had this rumble pack inside your controller and your controller would vibrate as you were getting the fish. It was brilliant. Yeah, we don't need this explanation, buddy. Now the reason for doing this is if you catch a fish when you're young, um, if you break the record that's currently standing, uh, he will give you something nice for it, a little reward. But later on in the game, if you do it again, if you break your own record, because... Um, Oh, but we'll, you'll see it when we get there. I don't want to spoil too much yet. I'm so generous, I'll let you fish for as long as how as you want. The biggest fish ever caught here weighed 6 pounds, so you need to get a fish that's bigger than 6 pounds. And for some reason I also had it in my mind that you could find a different uh, lure for the fishing rod. But I couldn't find it. So we're just going to fish right here. You can change the camera angle so that you can see where the fish are at. And all you need to do is uh, cast towards the fish. The little lure will land near it. And then you need to wiggle it around, pull it in, pull it out. And then you just need to uh, make the lure attractive for the fish. Let's put it like that. And the fish will bite. And then you just reel it in.
And of course the line can break, the fish can escape if you don't do it right. But it's a very nice fishing game. Here, little fishy. Alright. And the bigger they are, the harder they are to catch, actually. Come on. And you can move your rod to the left and to the right, I just figured this out. And that will just make it a little bit easier to get it in. Well, well, it's about three pounds. Do you want to keep it? Yes, I do. You can only keep one fish at a time, but each time that you uh, catch a bigger one, it will just throw out the old one. I'm just going to skip ahead now where I catch the fish that I actually need. Because as much fun as this is, I can imagine watching a guy fish for half an hour isn't that much fun. Well, well, it's about eight pounds. Do you want to keep it? Yes, I do. An 8 pound fish, exactly what we needed, and I wasn't kidding when I said this took 30 minutes. It really took a lot of attempts, and it's very skill based. It's not like toss out your lure a couple of times and you will get the fish that you need. Now you need to look for the big fish, try to catch him and try to toss your uh, little lure to him, and then you might actually get it. This fish is huge, it looks like a new record, it weighs at least 8 pounds, seriously. This is just 5 rupees, but as I said, um, we're going to need this for later. And now I would very much like to quit, spend enough time here. There's a world waiting to be saved, and I'm his hero. Letter in a bottle. Okay, you're going to show us what's inside? No? Okay. No, we're just going to need that later on for the big king. It's quite funny actually that there's a little uh, fishy mini game and all these other mini games and mini puzzles inside this uh, fantastic story. Because keep in mind, the princess is waiting for us to get these rubies to her. She's waiting for us to save the world. And we're just la la la. Just gonna catch a fish now. Oh, you know what? Just gonna ride my horse. Hello, king. Oh, my dear sweet princess Ruto, that's her name. Where has she gone? I'm so worried. Oh, this letter. It's from Princess Ruto. Let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since this stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter, you keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Rudo immediately. Zora? I'm not a Zora. So yeah, it's not Naruto, it's Princess Ruto. And he just slowly but surely gets out of the way. Take your time, buddy. No rush. Thank you. And as the king just explained, his uh, princess Ruto, his daughter, was feeding Yabu Yabu. And she apparently got eaten by it. So we're going to try to copy her behavior. And we're going to see what happens when you feed the fish. And this is their lord. This big gigantic fish right here. There you go Mr. Fish. Lovely fish for you.
That's how you enter dungeon number three. Get eaten by a giant fish.